is up YouTube, this is Def Gandalf coming to you with another video. So in this video, I'm reviewing Bandicam, as you can see right here. So this is what I've been using to record my videos since I started recording videos. I didn't even try for apps, my hard drive isn't good enough for DX Story, and so yeah. This is a very good recording software, I definitely recommend it and it just works very well all around. Now, I do not have a super amazing computer. I've got a computer with a, I don't even think it's three gigahertz, but it's a quad-core processor, uh, Radon 3600 series GPU, really old, but hey, it gets the job done, runs Minecraft pretty dang well. And yeah, this is what I've been using to record. And as you can see, there is a lot of different options that you can do. You can do your sound. You can have a secondary sound device, which in my case is my microphone, as you can see right here. So you can come over here. You can add your own logo to a video. I know a lot of YouTubers do this, but I add my channel logo and link to my channel. Put all my videos through YouTube. So I don't do that, but you can if you want to. I don't know if you can do like a little looping video thing or whatever, but my guess is not. And yeah, you can add little click click effects and stuff, but yeah, I'm going to keep that all the same because I don't want to mess it up. You can also use Bandcam to do screen captures, in which my case, I have it set to do F12 as my hotkey. So if I hit F12, it'll take a screenshot of my screen, everything that's on it, and that is helpful, but you can also just hit print screen if you're on a Windows PC, such as I, and holy crap, my email, but, um, yeah, one thing, let me see if I can find it here, where was it? Okay, so you can change the quality, 10, which is really low quality, or you can use 100% quality, which is HD. That's what I use. And I just left that alone. 30 FPS, because that's what YouTube does anyway. So why, not, why make it look weird and all that? But that's what YouTube does, so that's what I recorded in. But one thing that's interesting about this is when, with some recording software, when you're recording and you have it set to record 30 FPS, it forces your game to max out at 30 FPS and it'll just stay at 30 FPS. It won't go any higher than 30 FPS. But with this, it'll record 30 FPS, but you can be playing in 130 FPS. So that's really helpful with Minecraft and all this other stuff I just left alone. So I don't really know all that stuff about all that specialty items and all that and yeah so as you can see you can change quality on images too and this is very good for beginners there is a free version I think it's one of the best free versions that you can get on the market because if you look at some of my older videos the only th limit that it imposes on you is a 10 minute recording limit and it puts a bandicam.com watermark across the top of the video, but it's not gigantic. It's not it's not really obnoxious. It's I mean, it's there, but it's not obnoxiously there. I mean, it's just kind of a white font on on the top edge of the video, but I can or I was able to overlook that until I really started making a lot of these videos. But here recently, I went on and bought the full version because, you know, Bandicam has always worked for me. I kind of tried some others, but, you know, didn't really work, so I went on and got Bandicam. But with the 10-minute recording limit, it'll stop recording after 10 minutes, make a little sound, and you can just hit your hotkey again. I mean, that's literally it. I mean, when it stops recording and it makes a little sound, you literally just hit F9 again. I mean, granted, that's a little annoying sometimes, but it's free, so... It's good enough to work with, in my opinion. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I, ho I have definitely hope this allowed you to find a recording software to start out with. 
for all you people that have been wanting to start recording Minecraft. And this record, this, uh, what? I don't even care about that. But anyway, so this doesn't take away much FPS. I mean, granted, I play in 150 FPS on Minecraft when I'm not recording, but I play in about 100 when I am recording. But that's not a huge hit. So, yeah, this is definitely end off signing off. Later.